Welcome back. Haven't turned the heater on the first time this year, and mmm, -hmm, that shit smelled good. The heater came back on. We got the heater that uh, shoots the fire out the fucking thing, and it's. And it gets pretty toasty. Alright, I'm reviewing this first. I do have a couple other beers I may review. It's kind of later in the uh, in the morning for me. I, since I work nights, I try to get to bed before 11, and it's it's 10 o'clock now, and I, I still gotta get a shower, so. Let's drink these quick. Uh, Sam Adams Pumpkin Pumpkin Batch. Okay, make sure I read it right. Now, I was saying uh, the reason I'm reviewing this first because I heard it, it tasted awful. Pumpkin beer. Uh, 5.6%. Uh, best before February. I wish they would do a bottled on date instead, but that's asking too much. There you go. Poured it rough for a reason. Smelling kind of cheap. New England fields are full of pumpkins this time of year. Our golden hazy saison burst with. Hang on a minute. New England fields are full. Okay, yeah, right, right. Uh, our golden hazy saison burst with the rich flavors of pumpkin and classic fall spices, revealing an earthy floral and spicy spirit. Cheers. Jim something or other Koch, it looks like. He's like the Koch, uh, the coach cousin of you know, the rich guys. Everybody bitches about. They're rich, let's tax the shit out of them. You know, if I made a lot of money too, you know, I worked hard for that shit. Why take my fucking ta my money and tax the shit out of it? Bernie Sanders taxing 90 fucking percent. Tell you right now, if I was rich and he, and he became president, I'd be laying people off and firing them and closing factories. That's just me. Smelling a uh, minimal pumpkin, maybe medium. A, little, a lot of it's spices though. Not as much spices as say the shipyard pumpkin head, but let's hop into it. Tastes like a lager with a lot of malty and spiciness to it. Definitely does not taste like what it smells. You're getting a, a dry bitterness with it. It's a little little drier than what I'd like to enjoy. It's not too bad, but if you're going to be paying, what, like nine something a six pack for Sam Adams, no, I'd, I'd rather get something a little different. Um, there's a Boulevard, uh, I think it's called Funky Pumpkin. I got one in the house to review. I've already drank five of them, and I think it's a, it's a very good beer. It's a, it's a pumpkin sour. It's pretty interesting, so. I intend on getting uh, getting to that one this week. It was my first night back uh, after being off for nine days, and I'm telling you, this nine days sucked because I get to bed at like ten, eleven o'clock or so, and intend to get up at six thirty to get my son ready for school, and you know, get him to school on time and all that. And shit, I wake up at three, four o'clock, just just lay there, wide open, wide awake. Eyes wide open. There you go. Man. 
I really didn't do much, just kind of sat around the house. It's like a really malty, it, it tastes like a lager to me. I'm sure it's going to say ale though. Yeah, ale. Oh no, it didn't. And it tastes more like a lager to me. I mean, I'll drink it. If you like something really malty, spicy, dry, bitter. I mean, the bitter is really minimal for me. Some people new to the game or down with Sam Adams might think it's uh, pretty bitter. In the zombie monkey glass. Gearing up for Halloween. It's this coming uh, Saturday. Sam Adams load. All right, go ahead and rank this. Um, I wouldn't get it again, mainly because of the price. If I'm only paying that much, there's a lot of other beers I would rather get. So, Sam Adams pumpkin bitch batch. Should say uh, heavy right there. Batch, you batch. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I tossed this a. Seven and a half, seven and a half, uh, I'll say eight. I was going to say seven and a half, but if it was a cheaper, I might have given a little better score, but there you go, eight. I'm going to get another beer.